welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stackos. And I'm Ron James. I'll tell you what, guys, we just arrived here at a beautiful Lake of Bays Lodge, and we are pumped and ready to get on this lake. Hey, this is full of big smallmouth. I am looking forward to this. We might even try for a little bit of largemouth, but probably not. No. But you know what? Before we do that, we're going to get ourselves checked in, get ourselves ready to go, and we are hitting the water. So stick around, guys. You are not going to want to miss this. You go check in, I'm getting the truck. Let's do it. Oh my, get him! Set the walk. He's on. Oh, yeah. Another 20. Nice. <laughs> Ontario Toyota Dealers presents Fish TV. It's time to Toyota. With your hosts, Leo Stockos, Ron James, and Jeff Chisholm. Brought to you by Ontario Power Generation. Powering Ontario's future. Rapala, crafted from experience. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. And Fram, designed by experts, trusted by drivers. Nice one too, bud. Good smallie. Oh, I don't, is it a smallie good or is it a walleye? Oh yeah, it's a good smallmo, bud. We gotta get the net. <laughs> he just pounded it too, bud. It is a, it is a small mouth. Oh, I know it is. I've seen it. Yeah. Look at that. Just whacked it. Stopped it dead, bud. Move him over here. All right. Beautiful. All right, hold her up now. Pass me that, uh, the, the Rappler grip here, bud. I'm gonna show you something so I don't get my hands all chewed up, bud. Mm. Watch this. I just lost one. <laughs> you lost two. If this is any indication how hard they're going to hit, I'm excited. Look at the bait here in 18 feet. Looks like in. Oh, look at it, right at the side of the boat. Just a little one, but holy mackerel. <laughs> I watched him eat it. He followed it and kept following it, and then he ate it. <laughs> nice. That's a little different. You're not getting this ball. Oh, you get my rod back now. You tie on your own. You tie on your own. So he grabs my rod. <laughs> not only is he a fish stealer, but now he's a rod and reel on bait stealer as well. Nice fish. Buddy. Yeah. I'm going to lean over and grab him with the gripper there. These smallmouth love to fight. Oh. Now, hold on, buddy. He's going to throw him in. No, no, buddy. Yeah. Let me, let me no, just no. get him like this. No, I got him. That's my rod you're going to break, not yours. No, I'm not going to break your rod. I'll swing him right. Watch. Get the momentum, that's All the right. thing. Okay, this is gonna turn out bad, folks. No, Don't try this at home. Definitely try this at home. Just like that. There you got him, buddy. That's beautiful. Right you, know what the, you know what the best thing about it is? Give me my rod. <laughs> no way. Now you go tie your own on. This is mine, you tie well, your own you on. started with this, I said, can I borrow your nope. rod? You said, yeah, you, you said, let me try cats. it. Let and he said, cats. if I get something. <laughs> I did not say oh, that. you did, buddy, come I on. Said, I said, you're not using it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna pull one out for you right now. All right. Yeah, you better pull one out for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You just borrow your buddy's rod <laughs> and catch fish. <laughs> okay, so. There we go. We're gonna do some, we're gonna, we're gonna try an experiment though, bud. Okay. I'm gonna give you this color, because they're smelting here. We yeah. have both. Okay. You, have, you have both. So right. I'm gonna take this back. Okay, so. But we're gonna try an experiment. Okay, so here's, here's what I'm using. Yeah. That's what Ron's gonna put on because this lake, this is they a dual feed. dual pitch. They, they, they feed primarily on smelt here. So we're gonna try smelt. And well, we're I'll try see. this color, and if it doesn't work, and you then, get another fish, I get that one back, right? Is that the way it's gonna roll? <laughs> <laughs> it, 
I know we have another white one, so I'm not that worried about exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let me tie this on. We'll be right back with more Fish TV action. Oh my God, that was a good one, Bob. He hit that the second it hit the water. Best of all, we got great fishing, baby. I can see the sand there coming up. So, judging by the very first spot we hit. Oh my God. Oh, it's a good one, Bob. Yeah. That is a nice one right there. <laughs> right on top that of that sand. That is a good fish, dude. I wonder if there's anything with it. I don't know, but I can't see in the water. He hit that the second it hit oh, the I'm water. Over you, nice. There you go, fella. Get this guy in here. There we go. Nice fish. Beautiful lake of bays, smallmouth. I'm telling you guys, there's nothing better when you throw in and he's just all over it. I'll tell you one thing, he was not getting off, Ron. <laughs> you know, dude, double hitter. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Just woke up. Okay, here we go. All right, Ron, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna release mine. <laughs> okay, you ready, folks? Here we go. This guy's going back in the water. Uh, see you later. And Ron, you can bring yours in, fella. I'm trying. I already just come off. Oh, did he? Yeah. You're lucky. You don't have to play with it. <laughs> That's okay, I wanted to dodge it. That one hit, like, right beside the boat. See, mine was the complete opposite. As soon as I cast it in there, he was all over it. And he didn't rock it. He just kind of... Oh, no, mine rocked it. <laughs> really? You know, we're, we're sitting at about 21 feet of water, balls and balls of bait, and there's sand right in front of us. And I think they're coming in, cruising that sand line. He's pushing and I, bait up yeah, there. Yeah, and they're just kind of cramming them up there. And there's a creek again right there. So a lot of current's coming out of there, and it's pushing bait, bait attract to the current. And you know where the fish go. Yeah. You know what I want to do though, Ron? As we go down here. Catch another one? No, I, but as we go down here in this depth, I want to turn around and do a shallow uh, drift coming back. Top water. And with top water, that's right. Sure. I want to see, especially now with the way the sun is. The sun's beautiful. Yeah, it's a little bit shaded right now in that area. I think they might come up higher. There, there you go. There we go. Oh, nice fish. Jump. Oh, <laughs> what a beauty jump out it. Look at that. <laughs> That is great. I know. Let's see if we can get a dump. He might, be have, he might have somebody with him. There he goes. All around the same size, these fish, eh? Hey, they're fun. <laughs> look at look, look at He's not a happy camper, buddy. All right. You ready for this, fellas? There we go. I got to try to get one on top of it. It's bugging you now, isn't it? Yeah. You know what, if you get one on the top water, it's going to be a bigger fish, I think. So? The bait fish are still around here, though. We've come up to about seven feet of water. And these are all about the same size, these fish, right now. We're in a pocket there. They're chasing bait. Now we're looking for the bigger ones, so. I'm going to throw this over there. Ron's going to switch over to a top water. And they're right down. There she goes. Look at her. Look at her. Just right down. Look at this. There he's got it. Oh, nice. This time I left him there. This oh, time I left him there. Oh, that was cool. Did you see that? <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's just, I just let it die. It was like a floating minnow. He came up and he slurped at it, and then he missed it. I just let the minnow die. It just went, just kind of floated down. He came up and just crushed that it. That was cool. That was. Nice fish, too. This guy's been eating as well, bud. Yeah. <laughs> Again, all around the same size. And every now and then, you get, you get a mixture of a small one and then a larger one. Let me get this guy in. Okay. Nice, nice. Yes, sir. Yep. Just came in. You can see the way it turned there. So it didn't actually hit at the top of the mouth. These fish come up and they go over top of it and they turn the hook. But the good thing is, you just pop them out like this. Unless you get it in there really good like I did. And that's it right there. Beautiful Lake of Bays smallie right here. You know, it, it's incredible. The, the amount of things that are around Lake of Bays but yet there's so much good fishing around here and people don't know that. People ask us all the time, you know, I, I, I wanna go to a lake that's got all the amenities that we can do around the area, but I want good fishing as well. Lake of Bays is it. And you know what, Lake of Bays Lodge, they've got a games room, they've got a private beach, they've got, yeah. you know, water toys, you name it. And best of all, they got great fishing, baby.
That's a nice one there. Oh. Portions of Fish TV were brought to you by Mercury. Go boldly. Right on that edge. So this time I want to see if there's somebody with it. And now we can see it's clear. Switch to a swim bait. All right, anybody with him? I don't know. Working up stuff though. Oh yeah, big time. He's eating. Wow. He is eating that and guy. There he goes. That guy is Quick eating. Quick release, fella. buddy. He came off? Yeah. Oh, your hook set is garbage today. I don't <laughs> know about that, but <laughs> if you say so. You know what I say? At least I'm getting hooked. That's <laughs> exactly it. I was just going to say that. At least you're getting hooked. I've had two bumps on the swim bait for some reason. I don't throw a lot of swim baits, but you know what? A lot of guys do, and they tell me they get a lot of fish on them, so especially smallmouth. There's tons of smelt in this lake, and this kind of looks like a smelt when it's coming through the water, and they're about that size. Really? According to my buddy Dave Kennedy, who lives up here, he can catch smallmouth, that boy. Absolutely. Nice fish, dude. That is beautiful, bud. Yeah, he crunched it. Well, bud. I want to see if there's something else out there. Oh! <laughs> Normally, there should be another one with him if you got a fish that size. You sure you're okay with that, Ron? Yeah, just get one. Hook up. Get a double. Get one. Oh, nice. That fish hammered you, bud. Oh, he just won't give up. Oh, come here, come here. Come here. Come on. How are you making up, buddy? Get in. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. This thing is. That's what you call Lake of Day smallmouth. That, tell me that fish isn't feeding up, Leo. Well, you know what, Look Here's it. the cool thing. We haven't really traveled that far from the lodge. No. And, you know, we're, we're staying at Lake of Bay's Lodge here, and there's so many spots between oh. there and oh. here, and every spot we've come to, it's that giant fish. But when they hit it, they hit it hard. These fish are, a lot of these fish are feeding on snow, so I'm gonna let that one go right over here. Beautiful fish. Thank you very much. And this again, just a beautiful bait. Just chuck and wind it, it's real easy to fish. Just throw it out there and crank it back slowly and they just kill it. It's now time for the Ontario Toyota Dealers Tackle Box. Okay guys, let's take a minute of the action to show you exactly what we're using today. I'll tell you what, to catch these big smallmouth, you're going to need this. An Omen 6.7 rod. This is a medium rod. It works really well throwing this perfect jerkbait. This is a local special. This is a local 110, 13 fishing jerkbait. The colors on that through the water are unbelievable. It only goes to about 3 to 5 feet, but the fish just come up for it and they love it. We're throwing that on a GT Creed reel. Very smooth reel, got a great drag system for when these fish are running. Also, we're throwing everything on the same rod, we're throwing the dual pitch. This is a walk the dog topwater lure and it works absolutely phenomenal for big smallmouth. If you bring this stuff up here to Lake of Bays and Lake of Bay Lodge, you're gonna catch them just like we are right now. So let's get back to that fish TV action. That's a nice one there, buddy. There you go, buddy. I seen the bait turn sideways on him, but... Oh, oh no! Oh. All right. Nice. Little trick here, guys. If you don't want the fish to jump, you, keep, you stick your rod right into the water, like that, and you, you kind of force them down. And as soon as Ron's ready, I'm going to lift the rod and let that fish. All right, here we go. You ready? There you and go. she's in. Nice fish. That is, nice. too. It's a nice dark one. Now, here's where my concern is, bud. See that there? Yeah, we're going to have to take so, our time. Okay. Sometimes the hooks get caught in places where they shouldn't. And we took our time, worked together. Hang on to it. And made sure that this fish was going to go back in the water. You don't want to force water into these fish. You just want to kind of hold them there until they start kicking a bit. And as soon as they do that, you let them go and let them do their thing. There you go. See you later. Teamwork, buddy. Good job, buddy. Oh, you got my uh, I got hook right. out there, too. Look at that. Yep. You are a good man, Ronnie. Well, sometimes. There's one. Good one. 
Good one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice fish. Oh! Again, nobody with them, but no. I'm going to get out of your way. Hit it right out the boat again. Right out the boat, bud. Oh! They never give up. Come here. Get it. Look at the hook just popped out, Leo. Come on. Oh, yeah. All right, look at that. Beautiful. Let that one go. Oh, when they hit this bait, they hit it. I've seen three or four follow with it. Like, and the one really big one was so far behind it. I think if I had enough room, we would have hit it. But there seemed to be following. And normally, if you throw a spinner bait for smallmouth and you get the first two cranks, you might as well just reel it right in. Because normally they hear it land and you peel it and they hit it. But at this bait, they seem to follow it. If you got enough room, they'll hit it. It's now time for the Garmin Force Tip of the Week. Hey folks, Leo Stock was here with the Tip of the Week. You know, we fished a lot of different conditions today. We had sun, we had clouds, we had a wind, especially we had a lot of wind, and that actually helped us today. Normally when we're fishing, I don't like it, but with smallmouth, it always helps us out. We looked for windblown points, windblown shoreline, because it was pushing that bait right up towards us, and we were intercepting the smallmouth every single time. So next time you get out here, use the wind to your advantage and catch some smallmouth like we did. Come on. Yep. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to see if anybody's with them. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, there's, there's another one there. Yeah, there is. Yeah. That's a big one too, bud. Yeah. Throw it out there. Hurry up. Where, where right is behind it? it? Right behind it. Right under the boat. Just drop it down. There's another one with it. Yep. Bigger, bigger than this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, he was a big one, bud. Yeah, it was. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this. While Ron's on spot lock, I'm going back here to pitch this dock. Little one, there's a big one that came out after it. Oh! Yeah! A little porky, that one. Oh, oh, oh that's a cow, oh, bro. Look at this guy! Oh. Yeah, that's a good oh, fish, too. Look at that, is. bud. There he <laughs> is. Oh, nice. Where did he go? Look at him. Oh! <laughs> That's where he went. I got one too. <laughs> well, mine's not as big as yours. Come on, let's stop going under the boat. Look at this guy digging. Look I at him. I think you're going to need the net on that one. He's a little bigger than I thought, I think. Yeah. Oh, look at the other one with that. Oh, no. Look at this. Look at this. There's three of them. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish, dude. What are you right, doing? Uh... It's a three. <laughs> <laughs> Things are starting to heat up there, folks. You think? Look at that. It just came off the, the bait. This is what's happening right here. Look at these guys. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water quickly. See you later. You whack you hard. Look oh. at that. Nice fish too. Good one. Put it on spot lock here. Do you see anybody with them though? No, I don't. Nice. Whoa. There we go. Right into the wind, it doesn't matter. Even in, even in this strong wind, you can still work a twitch bait down here. You know what, this, this Garmin Force trolling motor, we got it on spot lock right now. Yeah, I it's love it. It's blowing 40 kilometers an hour and it's holding us in place. It is awesome. Absolutely. Spot lock, look at the wind. We're not budging. Throwing that 13 fishing. The local special. Loco. <laughs> yeah. Right off the end. Right on. Ooh, oh, a giant butt. Well, by the way, why are you wearing that hat? Oh. <laughs> Well, the fish is so hot, my neck was getting hot, so I changed my hat. You mean you stole Nick's hat? I did. I wonder if there's another fish with us. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, oh look at oh. that. Hold on, let me get the net. Whoa. Hold on. Come on, girl. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I got her one hook. One hook, Neil. I'm coming, I'm coming. I got her one hook. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, easy. Look at that, oh, folks. Oh, look at that. Little oh. porky, that one. Yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna need the pliers. There, there you go, fella. Go. Okay, you wanna get the rod off my head? Oh, there you go, buddy. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, baby. I'm even gonna take this hook off for you. How's that? Beautiful. Nice fish. Lake of Bay Lodge. Gotta get up here, folks. We'll let that one go. Boy, that one just annihilated that. Beautiful fish. That's the thing about a fish off a point, buddy. They just hammer it. I can't see my lure. Nick's standing right in the way. Oh, nice Oh, that's fish. a good one, bud. 
that's a cow, brother. That's a cow. I tell you what. Oh! No, look at this! Wow. Look at this, bud. Good thing you got the spot lock on the anchor. Not the anchor lock. Oh my god! That's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that! <laughs> nice fish. Ah, there's a tank right there. Look at that, folks. I gotta tell you guys, it's nice. just, the wind's just starting to pick up. Yeah. It's time to go in, but it before is. we do, we have to catch this duker right there. Nice fish. There is nothing better than catching some smallmouth bass in shallow water. We pulled up to this little shoal here, it's absolutely incredible. You but know, what a day. Ontario has got it all. I'm telling you right now, Absolutely. Lake of Bays, Ontario, small mouth, large mouth, you name it. You gotta check out Lake of Bays Lodge, ladies and gentlemen, fishtv.tv for more information. Until next time, I'm Leo Stockos. I'm Rod James. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. Good job, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Good job. Nice. Nice fish. I gotta take a picture of that. Beautiful fish right there, buddy. No doubt. See you later. Look at that. <laughs> Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. Mercury, go boldly. And Hill Street Beverages.